The weight of the monster's head sent to grind me down to dust is 14.7 tons, and its long neck stretches out 42 meters. No blaze of glory, mushroom of bilious smoke. No almighty crash, my demise won't rip through the sky or shift the boards beneath nearby family homes. I'll be nibbled on, a utilitarian canopy. The salt and silt of me will linger. I've been everything and nothing, place of honest work, den of deviant pleasures, filled with words and orphan feathers. History dribbles out from the strict frames in which we house it. Eroding through steel and concrete, it reinvents itself, asbestos unfurling, queer and twisted as shame and its crooked brother, silence. A locked safe, writhing with the torture of its contents. I am an inconvenient crevice, the chipped tooth in Bristol's smile. I greet commuter trains as they whistle by, pitted like the moon, full of ache and howl, the harshness of my vowels, the smear of asphalt I leave on the skyline. Ominous skull with 600 stories rotting in my sockets, tales too subtle and wicked for written language. So brick me then, sore symbol of bygone times that I am, rooted ghost of things best left muttered under breath, footnoted in forgotten books. I bow out as gracelessly as I clung on, a gritty legacy to chew on, a monstrous thing to digest. <laughs>